Hey everybody, here's something a little different for you. This is part of our live event in Toronto, uh, part of our three-part series on pre-construction and how to sell it in Calgary, but really it's how to sell it anywhere. So watch this one and the other two coming right up. Like and subscribe. I've got tons of great content coming up on how to survive in a tough market, how to sell pre-con, how to do new homes, how to get endless listings. It's all coming up on this channel. Uh, so why Calgary? What about oil and gas? So um, we were talking about oil and gas. Um, we put that one in there because oil was still low, you know, two years ago or a year and a half ago. Um, and our, our uh, tech sector, I know like every city says their tech sector is growing. Ours is growing. Ours is growing fast. Um, our, and uh, most of those companies are coming to Calgary. So uh, we'll show you a couple slides on that uh, shortly. Anybody ever heard of Amazon? That's a small tech company. Yeah. Um, global investment in Calgary, appreciating real estate market. Um, and then there's some other things that go hand in hand. We have more lithium in Alberta than like anywhere in North America. I don't know if you know what lithium is. I think it goes in car batteries. Uh, hydrogen could be a hundred billion dollar industry in Alberta. Uh, so there's lots of things coming. Um, and appreciating real estate market. Oil's back. I just put that in the other day. Oil's back. Um, unfortunately, it's because of world events, but uh, we won't get into that, but oil is back up. So as long as it's around anywhere from about, I think, 70 and up, uh, even 60, 65, like the oil companies are so slim, uh, they're so slim now that um, they're, they're profiting uh, big time on that. So this was Financial Post, November 2021. I thought it was a cool shot and I'd throw it in there. Um, tech sector booming, uh, we just talked about that. Over 2,000 new tech startups. There's actually, uh, probably shouldn't say this because then you're all gonna wanna buy in there. Um, there's a actual area um, in the east side, I think it's about 200 acres, and it's gonna be all tech companies, and it's just on the east side of the, uh, of the city. So it's, it's built for tech startups and to attract more tech companies. Um, and, uh, but on top of that, like our downtown, um, has a, a fairly significant vacancy, like, uh, don't let this scare you. Okay. Okay. Commercial has a fairly significant commercial. Okay. Not residential commercial has a fairly significant, um, vacancy rate. Now, normally that might scare people, but it's a real positive because it's so attractive for business to come to Calgary right now. Alberta, by the way, um, dropped their corporate tax rate to attack, uh, to attract more business about two years ago. And, uh, so we're the lowest at 8%. We're the lowest tax rate in North America. Um, so it's absolutely violently attractive to come to Calgary. If you're a tech business or if you're any type of business, by the way, we also have the most, um, head office employees in, in all of Canada. So uh, tech sector is booming, line three uh, pipeline complete, uh, Amazon Web Services Cloud Computing Center, they just announced this a couple, about six months ago, five months ago, 4.3 million, uh, billion, I'm sorry, 4.3 billion, million, who cares? <laughs> 4.3 billion in investment in Calgary, uh, literally just on the edge of Calgary in the north end. Um, air products, uh, we talked about hydrogen, uh, this is one of the first one, 1.3 billion net zero hydrogen facility, so that's one of the first ones. Um, but I have seen several headlines talking about a hundred billion dollar hydrogen industry uh, that's possible in uh, Alberta, job growth, uh, film sector. So when COVID hit, uh, we had six films, I believe, that were being, uh, six, six films being filmed in, uh, um, in Alberta or in Calgary specifically. Uh, today there's over a hundred. So it's, it's like, uh, it's, it's pushing everything. So they also uh, give tax breaks to the major motion picture companies. Uh, Dow Chemical, Northern Petrochemical, um, like there's just uh, headline after headline after headline um, about like uh, good news uh, 
for, well, home sales up 462%, you know, last year over the year before. Uh, that's pretty good, I guess, if you're a realtor. Um, can you imagine Toronto, like with last year's sales, and then this year it was up another 462%, it would be freaking insane. Um, so uh, I won't go through each one of those. So I'm just gonna go through some of the projects, if you don't know, that we've, uh, that we've done in the, in the recent, um, in the last, uh, let's say, year or so. Uh, so Nude, uh, one of the first ones early last year, um, close to downtown in the Beltline area, and uh, so this one we crushed. Um, we had a small amount of units in there. Uh, so what's important in here is the price per square foot, uh, 590 to 703 for, uh, for the two beds. This was, um, if I'm not mistaken, this was before, no, this was including uh, parking at the time. So a concrete building uh, in the downtown core, uh, 700 to 755 on the one bed and den, and then in the one beds you were exceeding 800. Um, a square foot so and some of those one beds the the reason the hundred dollar difference some of them didn't include parking so uh, Legends if you've heard of Truman Homes um, Anybody here heard of Truman Homes? Okay, so there's quite a few people had I said that last year you'd be like who the hell is that? Um, Brad and I brought Truman Homes to the GTA um, So if uh, if anybody ever sold anything in there that was from me, thank you very much. Now I get calls from realtors and they go, no, we only wanna buy a Truman home. And I'm trying to tell them, you only wanna buy a Truman home because we told you that's the only builder to go to at the time. And now I'm telling you, go to these other builders. <laughs> so it's, uh, apparently we marketed it very well. Um, but uh, Truman, good builder um, in Alberta. We absolutely crushed um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of units for these guys. And um, we only bring projects that my family would buy in. I don't like my family, but no, I'm just kidding. The, uh, we only bring projects to the market that won't embarrass you. Um, it won't embarrass you in front of your client that we believe they're going to pay, which is probably one of the most important things, right? Um, they're going to pay and they're going to close and it's going to be a good project, uh, a good product, and your, your client's going to be happy with it. Um, so if, uh, if we get a one-off or a company has never built before and they go, hey, we want to, I'm like not touching it. We don't want it because we don't want to embarrass you. This is, we're not a wham, bam, slam, you know, thank you, ma'am, kind of thing. It's, it's about relationships and building long-term relationships with you and help you build your, uh, your business and your career. Uh, one bedroom's where? Yeah, but, but you had to pay for your locker. <laughs> and that was like, what, 1500 bucks, 2000 Yeah. Yeah, those days are done. Um, yeah, so for all the people that were like, I don't know, I think the market's going to sink. Ha <laughs> ha. You lose. Um, so a shitload of uh, townhomes that we sold. Um, and uh, more townhomes, more, uh, more condos in all of these areas. So if you've seen any of this stuff that was, uh, that was marketed, um, like I'm not, I wasn't big on Facebook. I wasn't big on, uh, um, you know, putting myself out there because the people that, you know, I wasn't really well known. And, uh, and it's because I didn't need to be. The people that knew, needed to know who I was, the developers and that, because I've been in the business for so long, um, knew who I was. So a lot of people just ended up going to agents. Uh, we would give it out as an exclusive access to our platinum agents and our VIP agents. And then uh, other agents would be calling the builder and they'd just spin them to us. Um, but they didn't know who to call because we just didn't promote ourselves. Uh, so you can see the, the pricing went up a little bit. Uh, Frontier, this one we launched in the second or th no, about the third week of November. And um, it started a little bit slow. We had a slow start to it and then it started to gain momentum. And uh, we did, um, I can't remember, it was like 300 units uh, in a few weeks in that one. And that was downtown and that was probably one of the most expensive ones that we, uh, well, it is the most expensive one that we did. Great location, um, not an amazing location, but it was a good location on the edge of uh, Kensington. 
um, in a very, very high, um, high-priced, high-value uh, area where the doctors and you know doctors and lawyers and stuff live.